guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 16 of Ascendance of a Bookworm, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You a little bitch, man, like, mm. And you... I do kind of want her to talk to the high priestess, priest really, um, to maybe get some advice, but with the three people who have been assigned to her, really relatively the two out of the three, she has to be the one to figure it out on her own. You can't always go to like a parent or a teacher or someone higher up just when someone you know is acting the heck up because sometimes you have to be the one to stand your ground and figure out the solution to the problem itself. And so I think she's going to find something. I don't know what it could be, but it's going to be a little hard for her. Common sense, my ass. Of course, yeah, we saw that last week. It doesn't feel as much heavier as it used to. It's fun to read some books. You, you know, your little ish, shut up.
Ooh. You're right about that. But see, I don't think friends are bad guys. It's really interesting. <gasps> You just want to take the book and just smell it. The smell of a brand new book that you just, oh my god. You just want like Walmart or Target or like any place to buy, like I sell candles that smell like books. Oh my god. Like, I, I would buy so much. Hmm. <laughs> huh? What do you want? Well, uh, okay, that makes sense, but still, you don't always need to go everywhere with her. Yeah. Well, we didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Well, she kind of told them all about three of them in different ways. That too.
You fucked up with that, too. <laughs> Can't this wait until tomorrow, though? Huh. Mine. You done fucked up. <laughs> nah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay.
And in a way, you trust him with your life, right? <laughs> yeah, but, um... Oh, honey. Hmm. 
What about the other few shitheads? And I think if he goes and eats something himself, we'll get in trouble. Because no matter what, he has to, at the end of the day, come to her for literally anything. Just to ask her a question. Like, if he can get something to eat, something to drink, whatever. Okay, so, Dahlia and Gil, as much as little shits as they are, I still like them. It's just going to take me a little bit longer just to warm up to them, unlike Fran, because Fran is very interesting. And I get the fact that, yes, he was so angry and he had to take out his frustration and everything on mine. But when he officially found out about her illness and everything, and because of the fact that he was walking too fast, and mine was trying to keep up, and still, in a way, like, her sickness kind of always gives me, like, asthmatic feels towards it. Because sometimes you can't always push yourself as much as you can, because as someone who does have asthma still to this day, um... I can't do as much things that I really want to, even as, like, when I was a kid. Sometimes I can't run as much as I want to, so I usually just do, like, a really nice pace. Or I just jog and stuff. But, like, anything could literally happen to me, and my asthma could just be set off just like that. But the fact that he forgave, well, mine forgave him is sweet. And the fact is, this is taking the relationship and starting it over and changing it for the better. And it's going to be good. And I can't wait. I just want them little shits to be nice to her. I'm just saying. I show master. But, okay, so going into the point where just mine and Lutz were walking home together, and the fact, because it did, like, it was a little strange that, like, people were looking at her a certain type of way, and I was like, okay, so what the fuck is going on? And then with Ben Nosan, like, literally explaining, you shouldn't be walking out like that because you can get kidnapped. I get that 100%. She, you know, she's not coming from a rich family, but because of the fact that she is working as a noble, like, a princess in a way, but still as a noble, she can get kidnapped anytime where she's wearing that outfit, and then people can hold her for hostage and ask for, like, loads of freaking money just to have her come back home. But, I mean, it was one and done, and I don't think she'll ever really do it again. But, I mean, honestly, who really knows? This is only really episode 16 of the second half of this series. But, I mean, I, I really don't know. Anything could happen from now to the end of the series, but I'm glad she was able to read a book today because, ooh, I mean, that feeling when you're reading a book and you just don't want anybody to bother the fuck out of you and you just, like, leave me alone, please. Let me be in my own world with some music all my own and just read for hours and hours and hours and hours. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 16 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 17. Bye, guys.